And with that, the party picked up. About 75 friends and family members, including coaches from Little League on up, celebrated with the tall right-hander as he becomes the second highest draft pick ever to come out of Section 2. Last month's Tommy John surgery probably cost Hoffman four, maybe five slots in the draft. Negotiations with the Blue Jays on a multi-million dollar contract will begin immediately, but the hard work has been ongoing for years. From Shaker to the Devil Cats to the South Troy Dodgers to the ECU Pirates to the Cape Cod League, Hoffman has emerged from being an undrafted high schooler just three years ago into a coveted pitcher who the Blue Jays had to have ninth overall, despite the fact that he's got another year of rehab ahead. But the elbow that has served Hoffman so well over the years is now surgically repaired, and the medical types in Toronto are satisfied that he will be able to work his way up to the big leagues once fully healthy. At this point, the arm remains immobilized. His rehab will continue now under the watchful eyes of the Blue Jays' medical staff at their spring training facility in Dunedin, Florida. Tonight, Hoffman's legal advisor advised against talking to the media for now, so his father pinch hit. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, it's been a long three years of ups and downs and, and this, the Tommy John surgery and uh, it's it's beyond beyond words right now. So uh, I'm, I'm grateful the uh, Blue Jays are giving him an opportunity and uh, like Jeff said, you know, they're going to get the best player in the draft and, and he'll be back better than ever.